this is Dumpy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Super Mario Odyssey. I'm here still inside of the, the Snow Kingdom. In the last episode, I said I was going to go around and get, like, all of the power moons I can find. I haven't bothered doing that yet. I got a few that were just very easily, just obviously around the other place, but I got I got impatient. I wanted to go and see someone new and show you someone new, so forget getting the power moons. I'll come back. I'll come back. I haven't actually, um... Gone back to New Donk City and got all of the, the power moons from, from there yet. So, uh, this isn't as many power moons as I could have now, but I just want to see someone new. I will come back and I will find all the power moons here, but I would much rather for now go and find a completely new kingdom. And I have no idea what the, the kingdom is. The, there's normally like kind of a hint to what's coming up next or like a multiple choice uh, to, to where to go. And oh, oh, it's very big. Oh, is this the, it's the luncheon kingdom. I've heard of this kingdom. Oh, I made the right choice. Who wants to stay in the snow kingdom when you could go and head to the luncheon kingdom? It's a kingdom full of food and a place which I am going to feel very, <laughs> very happy. It's really going to make me hungry, actually. It's been a while since I last eaten, so maybe it's not going to be a good idea to be so surrounded by food in the the game so they're serving frost frosted cake in the wedding are they not if i serve them a defeat first seeing as how we've got some time to kill let's review some useful skills quick swim i know about quick swim i didn't know about quick swimming for like the whole time in like the um oh was it like the lake kingdom or whatever it was the water one you know the one i'm talking about the whole time i was there i didn't know about the quick swim thing so sorry if you were commenting, telling me off for not knowing about it, but um, yeah, I I know about it now and I've worked it out. So what is the the deal with the the luncheon kingdom? So he got the the cake from the snow kingdom. So is this just like like where he's getting the rest of the meal from? And what what's the deal then? What is what's the floor? Oh my goodness, they're here. Yeah, they're always here. What are these things? Oh, are they like are they like beans? Are they supposed to be? I, don't, I think they might be. I don't know what they're supposed to be. <laughs> we got some chef goombas. I love all the the goombas with their their little hats uh, around the place. Oh, I shouldn't run into them though. Maybe <laughs> I should like them and not like them that much to run into them. And then oh, these are like explosive tomatoes. I just want to see what they go. Okay, it's rolling into me. Um, can I? What happens if I jolt? Oh, okay, are they gonna blow up? No, they kind of look like they're gonna blow. Oh, oh god, what was that? Is that is that like burning tomato juice? God, I don't like those things. <laughs> There's like burning tomatoes all over the place. I have one of these little bean things down here. Okay, then. It doesn't look exactly how I expected. Like, is this is this meant to be corn? It's all like like blockier, I guess, than I expected as a way to put it. And oh, 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 I see. I see, I see. Okay, okay, right. What we need to do is we need to go and get a, a stack of Goombas over to, to here. So if I run on the, the corn, no, 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 run on the corn, I guess, then then jump out the other way. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's rolling, it's rolling. Keep running up. <laughs> to be fair, I already had like one heart and I hadn't really made much progress anyway. And I got plenty of coins. So I'm glad that I died there. Okay, I'm not, but I've got to make myself feel better. So, all right, let's take over this Goomba and then let's go and start hopping on. So those um, Goombas with the, the hats, like the lady Goombas, they, they fall in love with these Goombas. And oh, can I make this jump? Big jump! Oh, no, I didn't... Um. I didn't like sprint. Like you can like or sprint or dash or whatever it calls it. You can do that in order to, to make them go faster. And I didn't do that then at all. How am I supposed to get these guys? Is something going to change here? There's not like a platform I can go on. I definitely can't reach it. I mean, I could I could like jump in, get the, the thing and then just die anyway. Like, I'm trying to get the Goombas back no matter what. So there we go. One, two, three. I died. But I got the, the little purple apples for my troubles uh, as well. Sorry, I will make progress here, by the way. I know we just arrived in a, <laughs> a new kingdom, but I've not done very much yet. Let's go and see. Oh, is there something, something in here? Oh, just some coins. Let's um, let's go and get this lady first, shall we? So I don't know which way would be best. Oh, stay. oh no, no, no. I don't know which way would be best for me to go. Jump across there. I think this might be better. Look, if I sprint and then get a big jump. There we go. No problems. But I need to watch out for these guys. And this part with the, the corn might be a bit more difficult as well. So I need to go to here and then start running this way. Faster, faster, faster. Come on, Goombas. There we go. And now she can fall in love. And I will get my first power moon from the, the luncheon kingdom. That was worth the, the trouble. Then I pop out and terrify her. Look at this. Aha! And she's like, no, I'm out of here. <laughs> love above the lava. Oh, no, my second power moon here. When did I get? Did I just get a, a, another power moon now? 
I must, I must have got a power wound a second ago. My memory is like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> right, let's uh, go and... Oh, no. Keep going. Got to keep running this way. Like, if I run too fast, then I end up just getting to the other side. But if I go too slow, then it doesn't move. So, uh, right. I got to avoid these. And oh, what's the... Can I can I take over the, the tomatoes? How do, What's the deal with it? Can I jump on the... Oh! I can't, but I can become them. What, what am I? Like, what food is this? What am I supposed to be right now? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Oh, it can't go on land, whatever that, that thing is. Right then, what's the deal then? What is Bowser trying to, to steal from this area? That's what I want to know. It's got to be, be food related. And oh, the tall one's completely gone now. I guess we're actually completely taking them out. Ha ha! We stole a whole boatload of this place's stupendous stew for the boss's wedding chow. But I'm gonna head back up the volcano to finish that stew after I'm done with you! I was actually going to to call one of my... Oh, what did I end up calling? Did I call it stew? No, I called it... Um, oh, what did I call it? There, there, what's the thing in my, my lovely world? The, the stew shop. I didn't call it, did I call it stew? No, it wasn't called stew. I, I think I was going to call it stew, stupendous, then I ended up calling it something else. But I've now completely forgot what I did actually end up calling it. Unless it was stupendous. Let me know. Let me know if you know. I only built it recently. I got, like, as I said, the worst memory in the, the world. <laughs> like, if there's something that I'm doing again and again, I remember it. But if there's, like, something that I don't do for a while, like, just it just completely goes to my brain. My brain's just like, yep, you obviously don't need this information anymore. You have not spoke about your stupendous restaurant in a, in a while. You obviously don't need this <laughs> information in your head anymore. We're just going to go and get rid of it. Right, this one just seems to be mainly about dodging. So maybe doing this whole hat spinny thing is going to be a good way to go. It's not the easy. Oh, I'm doing it quite well actually now. I normally struggle with this thing because you got to like shake the the controller in a bit of a weird way to, to do it. But that will work pretty well. Now let's see if we can whack him. I was able to do that. I got rid of his hat. Jump in his head. Is that is, is that done? I think this thing that might be him like out completely now because that tool one that I battled last time he has not come back. So <laughs> I think that might be a completely uh, defeated. So it looks like they're they're after the the suit. What is the now? I'm gonna have to look it up. Bear with me. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I need. I'm gonna have to literally look, look it up on my own YouTube channel because it's just driving me crazy now. Right, Stampy. Let me just search for Stupendous in YouTube while I'm doing this. Oh, I got. I got a video called Stupendous. Did I call it Stupendous? Is it? Is it called Stupendous? Maybe it is. I, th I think I actually did call it Stu. I think they just stole my. They they stole it, didn't they? Did they steal it? Is that, is that what it is? <laughs> did, they, did they steal the, the name of it? I'm literally just watching my own YouTube videos right now while doing this. That, is, is that like weird, like um, breaking the fourth wall while I'm watching my own YouTube videos while making a YouTube video? Well, no matter what, I uploaded a YouTube video called Stupendous before this game came out. So Nintendo are obviously completely out of ideas and just stealing my ideas. I say they're out of ideas. They've created a game where you can possess a little fork with a mustache and flick yourself around. I think they are certainly not out of ideas. Right, flick. And there we go. Oh, look at this little guy. Can I take over you? Oh, I can't take over this one. I can chat to him though. Big welcome to Mount Volpongo. Home to the hugest flavors anyway. I'll show you around, but uh, things are kind of at fire right now. What's this little bird as well? Oh, everything's just so adorable here. Hello, I can speak to you as well. What's going on? That bird up there showed up out of nowhere and took over our stew pot just when we were making more of our special stupendous stew, too. Everybody was getting ready to dig in. Oh no, what troubles! Lucky Mario is here. Our stew is ruined. What's that Dan bird doing out there? Oh, what's that? Can I take over this thing? What? Oh no, it just says. Oh, I can make my hat spin on it. Uh, spin on it. Whee! Is that like helping me in any way? I don't think so. I guess I can leave uh, Cappy there and then like jump off it, I guess. Let's have, let's have a little bit of a look around then, shall we? So, uh, under the cheese rocks. That looks like where I'm supposed to go. That looks like where I'm going to, to end up. Uh, this is a nice looking kingdom, isn't it? It's just weird how the food's all like... It, does, it, does, it looks like, you know, like when you get like the, the bowl of like fake plastic food, it looks like that. You know, it looks like toy food rather than actual real food. And toy food is fine. But it's not as tasty as real food, is it? There's like cans all over the place that I can, <laughs> I can hit. And am I supposed to? Can I? Can I wall jump up these? That looks a little bit, 
a little bit too far away, if you if you ask me. But there is some little bonus coins I can get from uh, from Cat Mario down there. There's another fork here as well, which I should be able to to possess. And then flick <laughs> to go get up to the the top up here. And hello. Am I shutting off? No way! You kind of look like that. You are kind of hiding at the, the top here. Is there anywhere else I can go from here? I mean, I could jump and land on that pillar. I don't know why I'd need to, to land on the other pillar. I did it, though. Impressive jump, though. Thank you very much. And then there's a little checkpoint down there. And ah, that pillar seems to have something on. Right, I'm going to have to do a big jump and maybe even a hat throw. And oh! Poetry in motion and a power moon for my efforts. Literally the world's greatest Mario player. It's become official now, by the way, because I just said it. I am now, after making that jump perfectly first time, officially the world's greatest Mario player. So congratulations on your educated choice to, to watch me. And oh, oh, do I need to put ingredients in the, the pot? Hey, uh, you found my turnips. Block them in right in the soup. Gold ones too. Oh yeah, especially the goldies. So I need to put turnips in. I think I put like a can of something in there. I don't think it was a turnip. Where are the have I seen a turnip? I've probably seen one, haven't I? But not focused on it. Turnip! Oh look at all those cans. I gotta break those cans. Look at those cans up there. I gotta go and smash them away. Look at these like giant prawns down here on shrimps. <laughs> they like, climb over the 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 oyster clamshell things. Where are they? It's hard to look for like a specific type of food when you're just surrounded by all of this. I'm just trying to look for, for turnips, like gold turnips, but there's just things absolutely everywhere right now. All right, let's see if we can get up to those those cans up on the, the top here. I might have to like backflip up to, to here if I can. Maybe like a, a cheeky ground pound jump. There we go. Seems like you get higher doing a, a ground pound jump than the the backflip jump, which is uh, handy to, to know. And is there anything else around the, the back here? They like to, to hide things right on the, the outside. Right, let's see if I can take them all out in one. If I go and leave Cappy out, Oh, did I get that? Oh no, one left. There was one left, but look at the cat. Look at them just bouncing absolutely all over the place. I think I found like a, um, a secret doorway here as well. Ah, so it's for like one of those roulette wheel kind of slot machine-y type things. I did all right at this last time. I think there were less last time though. Right, uh, 10 coins. What do you say? A power moon can be one. Right, let's not worry about getting all of the bonuses. Let's go and try and get the, the power moons. Okay, so we're just going to learn the order. So it's uh, okay, it's the same as last time. So it's uh, heart and then power moon. Okay, I just got to get it right every single time. So if I throw it as the heart's still there, because it takes a little while for uh, Cappy to, to come out. So heart, power moon. Perfect. So far, so good. Power moon. Yes, the last one. This is the scary one. Oh, the music's changed. I'm getting tense. <gasps> I did it though. Power moons all around. I was able to, to get myself a, a power moon. Luckily, unlike real slot machines, it's a game of skill rather than a game of luck that just steals all your money. Here's here's one tip for life. If you ever if you ever want to actually listen to it, never gamble and never use those slot machines because you're not going to win. You know, even if you think you have won a little bit, you end up not going to win at all. Those aren't the turnips, are they? I get I get coins when they they land in there, but hmm. Okay, I guess I can go and bring some back a little bit later on and all. Oh, that's where we're going to be able to get a new outfit. Let's come back to the, the shop in a little bit. And uh, because I'm, I don't think I'm going to have enough of the, the, the purple apples to, to get them yet. But right, it's cool because these like fireball things, these are like normally obstacles in Mario games. But now they're like something that I need to, to get. So we can dash them to, to go around really fast. And then we can jump like this uh, as well. And it looks like there's a whole big area down there. Let's not go down there yet though. Because it was over like this direction somewhere we were supposed to, to head in. So, oh, I can't swim up in these. But I can kind of like jump up in them. <laughs> this is fun. It's so like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the best word to describe it? Squelchy. Squelch, not squishy, but squelchy. Is that a good, a good description for, for what this is? I think that's a, a pretty apt way to describe it. <laughs> right, so we've arrived to some more land here. So this is, this is where, oh no, 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 I hurt myself on that. Well, I don't know that stuff's supposed to be, to be honest. And oh, 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 we have some Coopers. We have some angry Coopers to deal with. And then, oh, these guys, I'm going to have to use Cappy to, to knock them around. So I'm not going to be able to jump on them because they have spiky heads and it went everywhere. Oh, I can do this to get rid of that guy. Ha! I don't know. Leave me alone. Leave me, what can I do? I, I guess, can I knock them off the, the edge at all? What was that? Oh, no, he just reappeared. That's no, that's not fair. I just excuse. No, okay, well, let's just leave them then. If they're going to keep reappearing, what's the point? What is the point? Right, where am I? Where am I supposed to be going then? Um, there's normally like a big... Oh, no. That's... That way? This way? That way? This way? Where am I? 
I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, let's just go this way. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter where I'm supposed to go. I'll go wherever I want. All right, let's go down this way. What does this person have to, to say? Can you can you help me? I'm a little bit lost right now. We need that meat up there to finish our stupendous stew. Uh, but I'm sure that crazy bird will go after it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go and see if we make our way up to, to there then. We need we need a goal. So that's going to be our, our goal for for now. Uh, where do we go? Can we go around the outside here? Oh, I mean, you know, what? I might be able to do that. Actually, look, if I do this and then throw my hat and then go like that. Oh, I told you. I told you you're watching officially the best Mario Odyssey player in the world. Like, it's not even up for debate anymore. We do, it doesn't even need to be a good competition. With moves like that, it just goes without saying that I am literally the world's best Super Mario Odyssey player. It's just, you can't argue with it. You cannot argue with it. What's the deal with this little power moon down here, though? Because this one's, like, extra sparkly, but it's in a cage. How do I... Do you reckon I need to get, like, one of these guys to throw the pans at the cage and it will open it? They don't seem to be interested in going anywhere closer to it, though. And there's a bunch of, like, cheese up here. I mean, I guess if I jump on here and then do a ground pound jump and then do that... Oh, okay, maybe not actually the uh, officially best Mario <laughs> player in the, the world. <laughs> right, let's go on top of here. Ground pound jump and then throw the hat and then... Oh, I did that wrong again. Oh, look. Oh, they're breaking away the cheese. They can break away cheese. Ah, okay. That's good to know. Can I hit them with a bean? Do you reckon, I, do you reckon if I hit them with this bean, I'll be able to take them out? Okay, my my kicking skills aren't up to, to scratch. That's it. Can, can Cappy... Okay, Cappy can't break it away. And I can't ground pound it away. But their, their hammers can break away the cheese. Very interesting to, to know. I've kind of just looped back around to where I was at all. Is there a sneaky power moon here, though? Nope, there isn't. There's a heart, though. <laughs> okay, well, I guess maybe I just need to, to go and use one of those fireball things to get across but there's not any around there let, let, let's see if we can get these guys to break away some of the cheese down here is there going to be like anything behind these maybe there's going to be a button to open that cage ah that seems relatively like likely so let's try and get them to, to break away the cheese there's also a bit of cheese down there we could get them to, to break away no oh, i don't know if there's a button if there is a button it's going to be a very small button let's just finish off breaking away this cheese while we're here though they're not like very good at aiming to be fair like in the 2d games these guys are like lethal i mean i don't think they're normally throwing frying pans but the the ones who throw stuff at you like this they are so so deadly in the the 2d games but in this one not so bad right when you throw this at all oh there's some um there's some apples behind there as well so it looks like if we get them to to get rid of all of that there can you not get rid of this cheese though is this just out of your range. They kind of have like two places that they, they like to, to run between. <laughs> but they're not going anywhere else. Right. Break away some more of this cheese over here then if you would, buddy. Look, if I stand up here, throw, throw them at me. That's fine. I'll stand at the, the top here and then I'll get all the goodies, okay? That's it. Throw them. Oh, okay. I think they actually nearly hit me then. <laughs> I don't know if there's any around here. I don't know what to, to do then really, to, to be honest. So there is like another checkpoint like all the way down that way. There's, all, there's obviously, like, that direction that I could go and explore in. So, let's not... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I jump down? Why did I, why, why did I jump down? Oh, this isn't good. Can I take... No, that, was, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, like, a whole big area that I can explore. But, I don't know, maybe I wasn't listening properly. But I don't know where I'm actually supposed to, to go. But, oh, it gave me a little cheeky checkpoint here. So, I'm not far away. So, yeah, let's just go and do a little bit of exploring. Well, actually, let's look... We can look on this and have a look. So, oh, yeah, under... So, it says under the cheese rocks. Do I need to break away the cheese rocks, then? Because it says under the cheese rock. So maybe I do need to break away the cheese rocks. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back there. And let's go and break away the, the cheese blocks. But seeing as it takes it a little while, uh, let me go and, uh, and cut ahead until I've at least broke away some of them to, to try and work out what I'm supposed to do here. Silly, silly stamping. I could just take them over. This is Mario Odyssey after all. Literally, the second I stopped recording. Oh. Oh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. The second I stopped recording, I just suddenly hit me like, wait a minute, we're playing Mario Odyssey, I could do this. That happens so often, honestly. You wouldn't believe, I know I, know I say this all the time, and like every YouTuber says this, but like the difference you have when you're just playing a game compared to playing the game and recording, like half of my brain is going to like choosing what I say rather than just all being about like <laughs> what I'm playing. So I'm like talking, playing the game and then trying to think and work out puzzles and plan ahead at the, the same time. It's just, it's just too much for my little brain to handle. And I may be the world's greatest Mario player in the world, but still that does not mean that, it, you know, I need, I need to not think at all. So right, was it up here? Is this the cheese I need to, to break away? Ah, that's what I was after. I was after a button. Oh, 
a lever will do. I was after a button, but I will settle for a, a lever. So uh, let's go and, uh, and pull this. And then is that going to open up the, the cage? It is. And that is going to reveal the, the power moon for, for us. <laughs> How? Oh, so, I'm sorry. I know you were shouting. I bet there's a bunch of comments from people that haven't watched to this point yet. Just shouting at me for getting that wrong. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But look, I've got it now. Under the cheese rocks. I got the power moon. All of that's in the past. I am now an enlightened Stampy Cat and Mario player. And I know what I'm supposed to, to do. Well, actually, I don't. I need to know where I need to go. I reckon we're going to get more of those... Those like fire things popping up here because there weren't any around there before. And aha, it looks like there is. Big pot uh, on the volcano. Dive in. Oh, that's like my my other game, which I forgot the name of. The game with the the big cooking pot. Oh, what's that game? Why well, can't I remember the name of any of my mini games? It's one of my favorite games of all time as well. I can't. I honestly I can't remember the name of it. What's the one? Um. I'm going to have to look it up again. It's going to drive me crazy. It's going to, you probably know what it is. You know, it's like a big, uh, oh, Broth Brawl. I just remembered. I suddenly forgot, but I just remembered. It's like Broth Brawl, isn't it? That's honestly, God, this game is just such a ripoff of Stampy's Lovely World. Honestly, Nintendo, come up with some original ideas rather than just stealing all of my mini guy games. It's shameful. It's shameful, Nintendo. I expected better from you. <laughs> I am, of course, joking, but something I'm sadly not joking about is the fact that that is going to be the, the end of this episode here. But don't worry, I will continue to, to upload these Mario videos as regularly as I can, so you'll never have long to, to wait until I upload the, the next video. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!